morning guys so we have discussed the average and rms values now we are moving on to third problem obtain the form factor as well as the peak factor of sinusoidal voltage form factor as well as peak factor for a sinusoidal voltage so we will discuss this as you know the average value is equal to 2 vm by pi average value of sinusoidal voltage is 2 vm by pi and rms value will be vm by root 2 vm by root 2 now we want to calculate the form factor form factor formula is form factor is equal to form factor is equal to rms value rms value to that of average value average value so as you know the rms value will be vm by root 2 average value will be equal to 2 vm by pi so i can substitute both here rms value is equal to vm by root 2 as well as average value is 2 vm by pi 2 vm by pi so i can write this 2 vm by pi v average value like this v average is equal to this 2 by pi i can write like this 2 by pi as 0 0.637 vm 0 0.637 vm as well as vrms also i can write vm by root 2 as 0 0.707 vm 0 0.707 vm so now i can substitute both average and rms values here if you move on to here form factor is equal to form factor is equal to rms value rms value is 0 0.707 vm and average value average value will be 0 0.637 vm so here vm vm will be get cancelled and form factor for sinusoidal value will be 1.11 so 1.11 is for sinusoidal wave sinusoidal sinusoidal wave wave form sinusoidal wave form so we are considered the form factor equal to 1.11 for sinusoidal wave form next he has asked to calculate the peak factor so he has asked to calculate the peak factor now we will move on to peak factor peak factor is equal to peak factor is equal to peak means maximum no so maximum value maximum value to the top rms value rms value so maximum value is vm rms value will be as you know rms value is 0 0.707 vm so here also vm vm will be get cancelled the peak factor will be 1.414 is the peak factor for sinusoidal voltage so we have determined the uh, form factor as well as peak factor form factor value will be 1.11 and peak factor value will be 1.414 so we will move on to next problem the average and rms values of half wave rectified sine wave he has asked to calculate the average value as well as rms values for half wave rectified sine wave he has calling the uh, the waveform as half wave because the 0 to pi it is having a positive half cycle and pi to 2 pi the value is 0 so it is a half wave rectified sine wave sine waveform so we have to calculate the average value as well as rms value so first we will calculate the average value average value so he has given in the terms of uh, current voltage no so we also determine the it as voltage so v average is equal to it is calculated for full cycle for full cycle it will be from 0 to 2 pi so 1 by 2 pi value 0 to pi 0 to the pi the value will be positive half cycle no so the value will be v equal to vm sin omega t this is the equation no so i can substitute here v equal to vm sin omega t sin omega t d omega t d 
t omega t and another value from pi to 2 pi the value is 0 no so i can determine here pi to 2 pi the value will be 0 d omega t so this value will be 0 i can consider vm sin omega t only so v average is equal to 1 by 2 pi 1 by 2 pi 0 to pi vm sin omega t d omega t sin omega t and d omega t so if you observe clearly this sign is in terms of omega t and this vm will be constant so we will move on to outside so vm by 2 pi vm by 2 pi 0 to pi sin omega t sin omega t d omega t this is the average value of voltage so if you consider this waveform integral of sin omega t so integral of sin omega t value will be we have studied in earlier classes no integral of sin omega t value will be minus of cos omega t minus of cos omega t so i can substitute here vm by 2 pi vm by 2 pi so integral of sin omega t value will be minus of cos omega t minus of cos omega t and the values are 0 to pi the upper limit is pi and lower limit is 0 so i can substitute here vm by 2 pi vm by 2 pi and upper limit so upper limit is pi no cos pi plus cos 0 cos pi plus cos 0 so cos pi value is minus 1 cos 0 value is 1 so i can uh, substitute both the values here cos pi is minus 1 and cos 0 value will be 1 so v average is equal to vm by 2 pi vm by 2 pi and this value will be minus 1 and cos 0 value will be 1 so v average the total v average value is equal to vm by 2 pi into 2 so here the 2 and 2 will be get cancelled so final average value will be i can write the final average value here v average is equal to v average is equal to vm by pi vm by pi for half wave rectified sine wave the voltage average value will be equal to vm by pi next he also asked to calculate the rms value so he also asked to calculate the rms value now we will calculate the rms value here v rms square is equal to v rms square is equal to 1 by 2 pi 1 by 2 pi 0 to pi 0 to pi vm square sin square sin square omega t and another value if you consider another value pi to 2 pi the value is 0 no pi to 2 pi the value is 0 pi to 2 pi the value is 0 so if you consider this value it will be 0 so vrms square is equal to vrms square is equal to 1 by 2 pi 0 to pi vm square sin square sin square omega t d omega t this is the value so uh, here also if you observe clearly this sin is in a function of omega t and vm square is a constant so i can remove outside vrms square is equal to vm square by 2 pi vm square by 2 pi 0 to pi sin square sin square omega t d omega t so integral of sin square omega t as you have studied earlier we can represent sin square omega t as sin square omega t as 1 minus cos 2 omega t cos 2 omega t by 2 so we can represent this sin square omega t as 
वन माइनस कास्ट ओ मेगा टी बाई टू हियर आल्सो आई एम रिप्रेजेंटिंग इट वी आर एम एस स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू वी एम स्क्वेर बाई टू पाई वी एम स्क्वेर बाई टू पाई जीरो टू पाई साइन स्क्वेर ओमेगा टी आई कैन राइट एज वन माइनस कास्ट टू ओमेगा टी कास्ट टू ओमेगा टी बाई टू इंटू डी ओमेगा टी डी ओमेगा टी so i can uh, take the denominator two value outside here the denominator two value is there no so i can write outside v r m s square is equal to v m square by 4 pi 2 pi into 2 it will be 4 pi and 0 to pi 1 into d omega t here the value will be 1 and another term is cos 2 omega t so 0 to pi cos 2 omega t cos 2 omega t d omega t so integral of 1 integral of 1 value will be omega t no so vm square by 4 pi into integral of 1 value will be omega t and the lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi and here also cos 2 omega t i can write as sin 2 omega t by 2 sin 2 omega t by 2 and uh, here also upper limit is pi and lower limit is 0 lower limit is 0 so vrm square is equal to vrm square is equal to vm square by 4 pi vm square by 4 pi and here the value will be pi minus 0 and minus sin of sin of here if i uh, remove this 1 by 2 outside sin of 2 pi minus sin 0 sin 2 pi minus sin 0 so sin 2 pi minus sin 0 value is if you observe this sin 2 pi minus sin 0 value is 0 no? so i can neglect all these term so vrm square is equal to vrm square is equal to vm square by 4 pi into pi into pi so the pi and pi will be get cancelled i can take this vrm square as vrm square is equal to vm square by 4 so if i move this square into right side vrm is equal to vm by 2 vm by 2 so this is the rms value for half wave rectified sine wave so this is the rms value as we have calculated the average value also average value will be vm by pi and rms value will be vm by 2 so we have calculated the average and rms values for half wave rectified sine wave thank you we will meet in next class